welcome to Gail's Garden Herbs and More. I want to share with you a new tincture that I'm making. Actually, I've got it all in here and ready to go. If you were to notice this, let me show you something. Okay. If you see here, it says jar not for canning. I have another large quart jar that has the same thing on it because there's a little nick in the rim and it would not seal. Some, I think the other one has a bubble in the side of the jar and it would explode if I tried to can in it. But I can do tinctures in it. So this one is um, a glycerin water tincture um, of licorice root. And I put the date, 214. Um, but this one will stay on this jar because I can't, I've got to keep it where I can't and know that I can't use it for canning because I don't have an accident of some sort. And if you'll notice this, it says 60-40 glycerin water. That's because it's 60% glycerin and 40% water. Now, I already used some of this. I used a 1 to 5 ratio in making my tincture. Um, I had 1 ounce, and I took this, and what I did was I put a light cup on it, and then I dialed it back to zero, and then I put my... Um, I thought I had got that. Let me go get it so you can see. Okay, this is some of my licorice root. Um, and just talking about labeling, I don't have any fancy label on it. Some I used to, but I just can't keep up with fancy labels. Just this tape works great. I just put licorice root. The date that I got the licorice root was 211.21 from, and the company I got it from was Star West. And it kind of helps. I don't always put the company, but sometimes if I get stuff from different companies, I might like one better, one company better than the other. Uh, maybe their product is a little fresher or something. I just like it better. So then if I have this on here, the company that I got it from, I'll know. And I can compare it in use with other companies. Um, but yeah, now this is not... It's old, and what I really need to get is a different scale that is more accurate. This, I think, did pretty good, but I really need to get a digital scale instead of this one's very old. Um, okay, what I did was I used distilled water, and I had 60% of that, and 40%. Uh, no, I had 60% glycerin. This is a 32-ounce bottle of glycerin. And you want to make sure it's glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin. It's 100% pure organic. So it's, And on the side it said it was ingestible. There is kinds you can get that are not ingestible because a lot of beauty products are made out of it. But even in beauty products, you should have things that are organic and stuff so that anything you put on your skin is going to go directly into your system. Your skin is the largest organ on your body. It's all over you. And when you, what you put on your skin goes into your bloodstream and stuff. So you want to make sure you use good stuff for that. Anyway, I put I measured it all out with a measuring cup. I put 60% of the glycerin and 40% with the distilled water that I had boiled in a little pan first. Um, okay, and then I put, I have some leftover, and that's why I label this jar with the leftover, because I might want to make another tincture. And I've got the 60-40 glycerin water already made up here. So I can use it for that. Anyway, I put my other, like I said, I had a 1-5 ratio, and I put... My um, glycerin water, the 60-40 glycerin water in here, and then I put my licorice root in here. So, yeah, kind of cool, and I'm, I just wanted to share that with you. Now, I could can this, not in this jar, though. That's why I have this on here, jar not for canning because of that little nick. It wouldn't seal. But if I wanted my um, licorice root to be tinctured to be ready in a day, I could can it up, but I'm not going to can it. I'm just going to let it 
soak out. And this should only take a few days. I'll probably leave it in there for a lot longer unless I need it for some reason. But I will say I made some tea the other day and I let it sit overnight. I had, and it actually was really good. I had a little bit of licorice root, some Tulsi, some, um, I often throw oh, whatever is I feel like I might need at the time. And I often pray about it too. Um, I put some Tulsi, some chocolate mint, and a little bit of, there was something else. What was it? Um, and a little bit of milk thistle in it too. And um, I let it set overnight. I had some first, and I couldn't taste the licorice root. Because licorice root, it shredded up root. And a lot of times you have to boil the roots and seeds and berries that are dried for a while. And I didn't boil it. It was hot water. But I let it set overnight. And this morning I had some more of the same tea. And I could take taste the licorice root. So overnight seemed to draw draw it out. Actually, it tasted a lot better not having put been boiled, I think. Just the overnight in it. The tea tasted much better this morning than it did yesterday, so I was excited about that. So anyway, a little bit about some tea and a little bit about some glycerin tincture that um, I've got going. I've not done the glycerin before, but I'm finding that the alcohol tincture, which you usually use vodka for, it's really strong on my tummy. Even though I only take a teaspoon or something, I can take it, but... And I'll often mix it in water so it's not so harsh on my tummy. But I thought I would try the glycerin and see. Um, I'm always trying new things. That's It's not a new thing, but it's new to me because I haven't tried it before. Um, but I'm going to try this and see if I can't take the tincture a little bit easier. You know, licorice root is very antiviral. Yes, it does a lot of things. Licorice root is a wonderful herb. But I want to mix it with some of my other tinctures that are antiviral and also help with problems that come on with viruses. So um, I'm making my licorice root tincture. And I'm just going to leave it in there until I need it, and then I'll strain it and use some. So I thought I would share all this with you. Wanted to just... Um, yeah, I just wanted to share all this, and maybe it'll give you some ideas, something you might want to do. I'm not a doctor. Don't claim to be. I keep telling you all that. <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> but anyway, just things that I do, things that I've discovered, um, I like to share. So I hope you give me a thumbs up, and we will catch you all next time. Bye now.